hello guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show you the new features in shape changing version 3.11 okay so so before we start let me show you how you can install this add-on the add-on we have pro and free version okay so you are going to use the pro version click on it and extract okay now let's open the folder we are going to copy address at this means the location so we have shape engine and animation to python file so let's go to blender and let's go to edit preference and we are going to install this add-on so um i'll go to install from dex and i'm going to paste the uh the location here the first thing you have to do is double click on the shape engine zip file once we click on it we're going to extract this zip file to a folder okay uh and then let's go to install again i'm going to paste the location there and this one i'm going to double click on python file the admission to python file okay done now it has been installed so let's go to here and it will appear on animation panel here it starts from register fix object animation to next shape king generate shape king blend shape so i'm going to explain how you can use this okay this is the character i'm going to use uh for the auto red one okay so the first thing i'm going to do here is go to um let's go to the animation and we have register face object we are going to register all the character parts here but first we have to select the rig and click on rename once we click on rename your character name is going to change and the target rig is going to choose that one as a target rig okay so now let's move on now we are going to select the character body and add it to here the register face object now let me hide that one i'm going to add all the parts like the eyes the right eye the upper teeth like this so now i'm going to unhide them so the next thing is select the rig and click on transfer animation and hit ok once i hit ok you can see we have uh we have all this okay we have these keyframes over here with names uh we have markers with name that show which keys and their names so here the rig is really rectified that's why the source rig is uh i know the rig is auto rig that's why the source rig is auto rig if your character is auto, uh, meta rig make sure you choose this one okay so now let's continue now when i move to frame 10 let me play the animation now i can see the character is doing this it means it has all this keyframe we are going to convert into shape keys yes this is good now let me start from here so when i go to frame 10 it will show that this eye blink left but you can see the eyes is not blinking well you can see the eyes is not blinking because of uh this character has a big eye okay so we can go to post mode once you go to post we can use our uh, art key and location rotation and scale and you can track the rig to make the blink good or you can after you generate the shape key we can use the scope to to make the character blink away so if you see the jaw open is very small you can just press g and open it wide like how you want it or you can just post it okay so if this one look okay for you just select all and i to insert key for that that's all then we can jump to another one this math close jump this math funnel so now let's go and convert this into shape key so you can browse through all the shape key and fit them one by one before we generate so now let's go and generate all the shape keys for this character you see when i select this character we don't have any shape keys here so we are going to generate it here so first thing is just select a character and click on generate shape keys okay now it's going to generate all the shape key for all the characters that has been registered in the register face object which is the other object we have been added to this collection here so you can see we have this 
once we when we select the eyeball we can see the eyeball also having the same okay so the next thing i'm going to do is click on make arcade because it's not using the arcade names so once we click on make arcade all the names are going to change into this but you can see the animation is still playing here what i have to do is just select the rig and click on clean rig now every keyframe has been deleted so we have our character and our ship key that's been generated here so i want to select the character and i can make eye blink here you can see this there's the eye blink okay let me search for jaw open jaw open and you so have this jaw open but you can see um the teeth is not following because the teeth is also a separate object if you want the teeth to uh, follow we have to also select and set this but i want to show you a simple way you can do this i don't that one also free i will leave that link in the description okay that will help you to control all of the objects at once okay so let me go to edit show you this add-on called the driver's control okay because if i try to open the jaw for this character i have also and uh, set the value for the teeth which is also time consuming so that's what you have to do just go to the driver's control if you install it it will come here okay the first thing you have to do is just select the character body which you are going to select most this is the body and then i'm going to press a select all and then click on add the next thing you have to do is click on college shape keys name and click on create drivers that's all so once you select the body and you set the jaw open you can see the teeth is also follow the tongue or follow when i make i look um i look down you can see i have not selected the eyeball but you can see it's controlling by the drivers they're pretty good you can see the eyes points and we have this eye wide so now let's move on to how we can face their blink okay so let me go to eye blink we have this eye blink here okay so here's how we can face it select the body go to scoped mode okay so i'm, I'm not going to use s mirror very gentle for grab and here i'm going to use uh this one to face it so this so now you can see this what i have done okay so you can use the scope to to face this i'm going to scope this one here that's good okay so now I can see we have blink. We have our nice blinking here. Okay, so this is how it is. So I'm going to show you how you can use it for also um meta ray character. Okay, so for a meta ray character, this character I downloaded it from Agora community. I'll give you a link in the description to download and try it by yourself. Okay, so let me go timeline here so this character is rigged with rigified so i'm going to show you how you can use it so let's go to animation so let's do it fast fast so here this is what i'm going to do select the character rig, change it to metallic before because it's rigged with rigified okay and click on rename select a character and click on add to collection now you can see this character is has bound together with the eye teeth it's not separate like the one we have with the or to rig okay so this is what you have to do it and then click on transfer animation select the rig transfer animation and hit okay so let's hit play you can see the character is what performing also this one we can see some of the shape kings here animation you can see the teeth the mouth is passing through the teeth we are going to face all this before we go and generate the shaking let's go to here and choose location rotation and scale and use alt key okay now let's start from uh the frame 10 this eye blink so let's go to post mode 
and here the eye blink and see the eye pass into this and let's not use s mirror so let's face it like this select paste a select all and i to insert key here we can use jump frame <coughs> now we jump to i look down okay so here i'm going to open it small insert jump forward jump forward jump okay this i look up okay so this let's insert jump okay jump jump so we need to look to all the uh the keyframe and look which one is not looking good and you can fix it it has indicates here with the shape key jump forward so you can select all the key alt e to reduce the strength by 50 percent can see it here jump again press alt e and then it will reduce by 50 percent jump you can see this character here is already have its own shape case you can see it's a this shape case don't worry we are going to generate ours it is not going to delete this okay so select this click on uh generate shape case it has been generated just click on make arcade does all and now we are going to delete this by click on clearance so we have our we have all our uh, our shape keys so we can make blink and can see it look good here i look down okay, and then we have i look left i white left 